Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 14. Alright, the previous episode we went to the digital world. Shiki, Rebecca and all of the other people they like you know dived into the digital world to save Hermit. Now Hermit is over there and she is she has closed off her uh, what do you call it mm, herself in in the digital world because something must have happened as far as as far as we can understand from the last scene something horrible must have happened and she probably has lost faith on all people or something like you know the way she said that like uh like ziggy uh, like you said that uh machines have heart but humans don't have heart so that probably like implies that something must have happened while she was in there or while she was outside something has happened and she really doesn't want to get out she's kind of shut herself in so that and there's another problem in this world that is a mass murderer has come in and he's killing everyone so and like you know shiki all of them met him so let's see like you know like what happens and all the npcs everything are kind of self-aware in this world a lot of things are happening so let's see what happens in this episode will they be able to find hermit and what will happen to the the, the player killer the person that was killing everyone so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started this is episode number 14 of eden zero all right so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go oh yeah digitals that was the name <laughs> yeah this guy one with the sight all right Like one thing I'm really realizing as as I'm watching this anime is um, Homura is actually the person who has taken Elsa's role in this show, you know, because especially because even though Elsie is like you know, exists in this anime, still the role of Elsa is kind of falling on Homura, as we can see, like you know, like the way she acts, the way she behaves, and. You know her personality everything like screams Elsa in a way so and also like I don't know like her being the like you know source man in the group also is another like you know big indicator of that like you know Elsa being the source man and she's also a source man so yeah and she's like one of the main characters in this show so yeah she, she probably has taken Elsa's role All right, let's see. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah, great. Yeah, you'll see. You'll get a punch very quickly. Whoa, what is that? His hand kind of... Mari... Whoa, what the... It's a living sight. The sight is... Oh, what the? Whoa! 
Um, oh, okay, he's fine. Oh, he ate the hair. Oh, I did not realize. That's a nasty sight. He's eating hair of people. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Whoa. What the? What's happening? Oh, she keeps doing that. I was thinking, like, why is. <laughs> hmm. Well, oh, Dragon Joe has called him. He, he's running away. Wow. <sighs> Boy, another lunatic has joined. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how he looks like in the real world. This guy. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> God, why is All right. They know the location now. Nice. Shinobi troll? Oh, okay, that guy. <laughs> yeah, most probably. The way he was talking is kind of like a shinobi. Gozaru, that, all that, okay. All right, they found her. Damn, her eyes are completely hollow. <laughs> well, th this, this is more effective, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw that. Hmm. Well, yeah, she's she's in the technical department. <laughs> Put me back on Iron Hill. Yeah. Okay, she recognizes him. Okay. Well. Ah. I hope oh oh god who is this Jesse who what um what's happening here Jesse Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, like I'm sure a lot of uh, he's an exception. She's an exception. <laughs> there are also exceptions. No, that was just acting. They were. Oh my god! Oh, he does not know that. I forgot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Need to get something. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Why? Okay, what now? Some kind of signal? Enemy? What is this? Oh my gosh, everyone's out with pitchforks and... Yeah, most probably someone's attacking or something. Oh! What the? Damn! Okay, we kind of forgot. This is actually an RPG game, so... Yeah, stuff like this might happen. Wow, there's a lot of them. Um. Yeah, does anyone have an AOE attack or something? <laughs> the NPCs are like... Oh boy, and they're bringing in reinforcements. What the? Whoa! Look at that! So many! Um... What the hell? Commander? So he's controlling them? What? What? Wow, I'm guessing I, I'm I, I'm sh quite sure now that he must have some kind of administrative privilege or something, you know, like some kind of privilege from the game master. Like, why else would they be able to control these monsters? And he doesn't get even banned, all that stuff. Wow. Yeah, he, he must have some kind of privilege. Otherwise, this is quite impossible. Like, a lot of things are happening which usually does not... It's quite impossible for an in-game character... For a player character to do. Ugh. Yeah, how... Well, it's not enough. You need an AOE at attack or something to actually get them all at once. Oh, well, it's working, I guess. <laughs> oh. Well, Homura is here, I guess. Can she do something? I hope so. Yeah, I think Homura is more effective in this position. 
because homura can use flame attacks you know you can she can just like use aoe flame attacks or something but rebecca can only shoot character like you know sh shoot the enemies like single target <laughs> wow she is even not not even here what now i was just talking about her what's she doing job what what is happening like okay let's Um uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god wow Ah there he is eating his chicken Well, I think Homer is here. There you go. <sighs> what? Well, yeah, that won't work here. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, is she suspecting that? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Damn, Rebecca is holding it in, like you know. <laughs> oh my God, wise. Yeah. Oh, Rebecca is the only one who can fight here properly. Damn. Oh. Oh, he's here. Um, the shinobi um troll. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Okay, she was the garden spirit of this place. Why is he, yeah, standing there? <laughs> He's just standing. He's not even doing anything. Yeah, there you go. Like, he was just talking big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shino chan. <laughs> Shinobi Shino chan. <laughs> okay. Whoa. 
Oh my god, he's here. Wait, what happened to Homura? Um Oh no. Um Come on, Shiki, use a gravity power or something. Oh no. Uh, come on, run you guys, they're standing there. Like, take the kid and run. Whoa, 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 whoa. What what is happening? She just blatantly is coming in front of them and shoot. Yeah, they have self, no, they have self-awareness, that's... What? Oh, this guy is annoying. Come on, use a gravity. Make a force field or something. Ooh. Oh, there you go. I was thinking, like, something must be going on. There you go, that's the real home run. Or uh, um Yeah 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 So someone sneaked in I think someone's that means someone sneaked in as a imposter Okay I have a few th oh. a few number of things I'm thinking about now. First of all, if that Homura is an imposter, why was she hesitating to shoot Shiki? Like I, I noticed that when she, like she first of all gives Shiki a, a chance to actually run away. Number one, number two, when the the other guy, the side guy shoots a crossbow he she actually gets concerned and was like you know surprised and standing like that shows her hesitation so i was thinking like maybe like you know homer is actually doing all of this to somehow infiltrate dragon joe and do something to him like i did not believe that he has betrayed them but i think it was something along that lines that he's actually she's actually trying to trick shiki and all of them to make them believe that she is a betrayer and by that she was actually going to infiltrate Draken Joe's lair and do something to him like that's what I was thinking like you know like as they say like fool your allies before fooling your enemies or something like that there's a word you know so I think that's what they were actually trying to do okay that's the end
they were trying to do now like she was trying to do so that's why i was thinking like that's why she was giving uh, uh you know shiki a chance she shot the girl and shiki came and saved her and she said that run away now i'm giving you the last chance and the other guy was like why the hell are you like you know uh, wasting your time just shoot him and homer was not shooting him and then when like you know the guy shoots so many arrows at uh, shiki homura like you know gets surprised and looks i'm talking about the uh, like you know the online homura like you know homura gets surprised and looks at them and you know like her hesitation is being shown there like all these kind of made me feel that she basically decided to come here and she must have had some other kind of a mission come here uh, with Shiki and all of them then like you know like go on her own way go to the side guy and tell them tell him that yeah I betrayed, betrayed them you know and do these kind of things to make to gain his trust or something and like you know she would probably give Shiki and all of them a little bit of chance to run away they would run away and then Homura would actually go with the side guy to Draken Joe infiltrate his uh, like you know ship and probably capture him or do something like some kind of undercover mission or something I thought this was how it was going to go but the last scene completely like you know like changes everything like another Homura comes in so one thing I'm curious about is who is this Homura, this online Homura that we are seeing and if this Homura, the female Homura that comes here is actually the real Homura, why was the other Homura hesitating to shoot Shiki? Like all these kind of things are kind of I'm thinking because and also another thing that's kind of uh, like you know I'm curious about is the guy on the phone, he, he was genuinely calling her as Homura. You know, and said that, uh, like, you know, you've infiltrated uh, the, you know, Shiki and, you know, Shiki's group. And Homura says that, yeah, I've tricked them, all that stuff. So what's actually happening here? Like, a lot of questions. Most probably the next episode will answer a few things. But, yeah. Like, I was thinking, like, it was going, going in that direction, you know. Like, Homura is actually tricking the other guy to go and infiltrate Draken Joe. She basically, like, you know, she, she's not betraying them, but actually has some other mission. But probably not, because in the end, we see another Homura come jump into the scene. So, yeah. Now, one thing could happen here, I'm not sure, but there is a chance of that happening, is maybe during um oh you know what i i think i kind of i probably will be able to guess what's actually happening uh you remember in the previous episode there's this whole thing with when which was saying that someone's actually trying to infiltrate our system like you know some kind of virus or something like she was saying someone's trying to hack in and i think that is probably the reason why all this is happening most probably someone kind of hacked into this into their system and someone else has infiltrated this you know maybe either that or another like you know this another there might be another explanation another explanation is actually homura came here you know in that in this avatar the homura we saw in the previous episode who was with shiki and all of them she was the actual homura but in the midst of it, somehow something happened and she lost her avatar and someone else took her avatar. And maybe like, you know, like they confined her or something, did something to her. That's why she was unable to go and meet Shiki and the other imposter took her place and joined Shiki and their team. So like that might be another, you know, uh, another explanation. So yeah, like either of these two or some other explanation, who knows, there's a lot of ways this can go, you know, there's a lot of ways this can go because this is like a, a game, like, you know, it's not that, uh, like, you know, like they have to come in through, uh, like, you know, like Homura, 
like it's not that humra has to come with shiki like maybe some other person from somewhere else took the same avatar as humra you know like that can happen like same avatar video games you know mmo so maybe they took the same avatar and this this other humra kind of substituted herself or himself with uh you know the original humra and like you know tried to trick them or something i don't know and so yeah as i was saying like there's a lot of there might be a lot of explanations and we'll surely get to the truth in the next episode because i'm sure homura will explain what's actually happening here and i'm not even sure like you know if like you know most probably this homura that came in the end is the actual real homura so and I'm, and i'm really not sure who the other person is so yeah and uh, okay let's see what else So yeah, okay, that. All right. So this episode. Uh, first of all, this guy, um, the side guy. I don't. I can't remember his name, but he runs away in the beginning, and they find a hermit. Now, hermit. Something. As I said, something must have happened to hermit. You know, and the way she says that I hate humans, all that stuff. Like something must have happened after she left the shining star like you know like left the other uh, shining stars and went on her own way so yeah something like she's 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 a machine you know she, she's uh, kind of a machine so that's why as shiki said like i've never seen uh, a machine who does not like um no humans because you know uh there's this one thing i don't know where i've heard that but i've heard that somewhere that there's this theory that no machines or robots like th there's this kind of a rule i think uh, i don't know like I've, I've heard this somewhere i cannot remember at all some kind of i think anime or, or some kind of visual novel like there's a rule within like you know the ais of every robot or machine that they are not supposed to harm humans like you know like their what do you call that like their actions should not do something which will directly or indirectly harm any humans like it's like a uh, one of the biggest programs of an ai or something like that i don't know where i've heard that but i i think i've heard that somewhere so in a way like you know like robots and machines are supposed to be uh what do you call them like you know supposed to be someone who help humans who are always along like you know alongside humans uh help them you know get along with them and like you know do not harm them all these kind of things so that's why like you know like all the machines as shiki said all the machines are supposed to love you uh, you know love humans like humans but humans are we all know like you know humans are quite what do you call that um like different people are different you know have different personalities some are bad some are good some exploit people some even exploit machines all that stuff so like gradually gradually like you know like that love kind of turns into hate and uh, similarly uh, the similar thing must have happened to hermit and the thing that Shiki was actually remembering her, his, you know, his flashback where we see like, you know, uh, Michael and all the other robots actually attack, attacking them. That was, that was like an act that they were putting out. And, and as far as I remember, I can remember Shiki does not know that. Shiki is, I think she still thinks that they actually hated humans. That's not actually it. That was like a play that they did so that she can go out, like, you know, go out on her, on his own way. So, <clears throat> but like in that way uh if you think about it it's really true uh hermit is probably the first machine who has actually actively said that i hate humans you know because and this could have happened to pino as well but pino was saved in the nick of time she came and saved her so if she like you know pino was left in that environment she would have probably like you know grown up to be uh an ai and a machine who would like, you know detest humans 
but in the nick of time she was saved so spino is also kind of like you know uh, is like you know likes humans so like the only as she said the only person who she, he actually knows that hates that actively said that i hate machine uh, humans is hermit but anyways that's a some completely different thing and uh, yeah hermit does not want to go back and then in comes the monsters now this also i don't know like no i'm not sure but this kind of i think proves that the guy who's controlling them and uh, the scythe guy he has some kind of an unfair advantage in this game like he's not getting banned after doing so many bad things he can like control monsters like so that's why i probably think he has some kind of an unfair advantage probably some kind of administrative powers you know in this game like you know some kind of game master power or something or maybe he's a amazing hacker or something either of the, that so like that's why like you know he can do whatever the hell he likes to in this game so yeah uh we'll probably get our answers soon because i think something's fishy going on he's like you know, he's not a normal player he he must have some kind of uh like you know he's probably doing something either he's a great hacker like you know he can like crack all the codes and all and like controlling all like you know the full game or like you know we don't even know if that's a male or a female you know it, it can be a she as well so he or she uh either is a great hacker or he or she is a game master you know has like some kind of or he or she knows the game master has some kind of an unfair advantage either of that all right and we get to see a new character here jesse jesse that was his name wasn't it um now they're talking in the communicator the the online homura you know the male avatar homura and him and they were actually saying that you know like i've tricked shiki and all that stuff and at that moment i kind of thought that like yeah they they're trying to like you know do go in this direction like they're actually making us think that yeah homura betrayed them but actually something else is going on and you know when she went to the scythe guy and you know homura said that i want to join rack and joe i thought that okay maybe the actual thing is he actually she actually is not betraying shiki and all but she actually has some other mission you know to go to drag and joe and do something and uh, i thought that was probably how this is going to go but the last scene kind of like you know changed everything all right and then shiki comes and saves a uh, hermit from the monsters now like it is really difficult to actually defeat all these characters using rebecca's pistols because you know like her guns does not have any aoe attack you know area of effect attacks she she can just shoot single target now however quickly she shoots defeating so many enemies at the same time is very difficult so homura was probably the what can i say like the appropriate character for this place but homura went away <laughs> rebecca was alone wise does not want know how to use his ether gear and pino also cannot use her emp because technically she's diving she, her she's not in her real body so all that stuff and <clears throat> okay and then we get to see the shinobi troll now <laughs> they said that he was an event monster you know like a raid boss monster but he's so, like so his setting is like a guardian um what, what, what did you say Gra guardian spirit yeah guardian spirit guardian spirit of this place <laughs> oh my god interesting to actually think about it like in a raid at you know raid boss attack you're killing the guardian spirit of the place you know like he's supposed to be a raid boss so <laughs> i don't know like <laughs> anyways <laughs> like uh yeah and then <clears throat> you know and then in the next scene we see like uh shiki coming in protecting the girl and little girl and homura coming in 
Homer is saying that I have betrayed you. You know, the thing about Valkyrie was a lie. All that stuff. Now, I, I said this before, but the time that she gave Shiki to actually run away kind of is a little suspicious because if she really did not care at all, she, he or she would have just you know, shot Shiki at that moment. If that was really an actual bad person or like, you know, an imposter or something. So, who knows? Like, I'm still a little bit, what can I say? Um, suspicious about her. Like, what her actual intentions are. So, yeah, we will probably get our answers in the next episode. And as I said, I don't even know if that's a he or a she. Like, that person, like, you know, behind the avatar of Homura can be anyone. So, yeah. And then, like, in the, in the end, like, the actual Homura comes. Like, when they shot the arrows, like, at that moment, I was really confused. I was thinking, like, like you know, what I was actually thinking at that moment. I was thinking, like, okay, like, I thought that Homura was, like, at that moment, I thought that was the actual Homura. Now, as I said, like, you know, as I said before, that in my head, it was actually going on that Homura is actually trying to do this so that he can gain, like, you know, favor from this guy, actually prove to him that, yeah, I'm doing everything, like, you know, to get into Draken, like, you know, Draken Joe's team. And uh, then she would actually, like, you know, go to Draken Joe and do something, some kind of infiltration, some kind of, like, you know, something there. Her own, like, you know, actual mission. I thought that's how this was going to play out. You know, they would not meet Shiki after, Shiki and their team at all after this. But then she suddenly, like, you know, shows her face in front of all of them and just says that I've betrayed you. Like, that's one thing that really, like, you know, confused me. I think, I thought that why the hell is she even doing this? Like, you know, she could have just tricked them to think that she was their ally or something like that. But then I actually thought that, okay, maybe she's doing this to actually, uh, like, you know, gain more favor, like, you know, gain their trust. That's why she's doing this. And then when she said that I'm giving you time, you know, this is the last chance, run away. I thought that, okay, that, yeah, that's actually what's happening. She's actually trying not to, like, you know, uh, kill Shiki, but she's just wasting their time here and making it seem as if she is their enemy. She has betrayed them. And that's how she was going to actually, like, you know, weasel in and go to Drak and Joe. So, like, that's why, like, you know, she does not want to harm them. That's why she was just, like, you know, kind of acting and giving them a scope to run away. I thought that's what's happening. And then when, like, you know, the other guy says that why the hell are you wasting your time and they shoot him, you know, uh, Homura's online avatar, <clears throat> like, you know, he, he or she gets really surprised, looks at the guy, and, okay, just a sec, let me check that portion again. Yeah, everybody open fire, everyone shoots, yeah, you know, like he's just standing and astonished. Like all the, you know, the arrows are shooting past him or her. Astonished, he's just standing there. She's that again made me feel like okay, maybe this is something that she or she was not expecting at all. She was actually trying to give them time to run away, and that did not happen. And that's why, like you know, she got so surprised. And then I thought that, okay, like something is going to happen. Either Shiki is using, going to use a, you know, gravity field. I, I don't get it. Like, why was Shiki not using a gravity field? Oh, most probably she, he cannot do that. I think most probably, you know, like a gravity ball or something, which can just protect them. Uh, the arrows will come in and the gravity will just repel them or something. I thought that, like, like you know, that would have been a, one of the best uh, applications of his ether gear here like is is perfect for this situation where like you know everyone's like shooting arrows at them uh i don't know why but uh, most probably he does not know how to use that i think but anyways like, you know i thought that either that is going to happen he's going to unlock some new power or hermit is going to help i thought that you know either of those i thought and someone does come in and then comes in homura and i was like what <laughs> so that homura is an imposter or what's happening here and uh, wow like that was that was uh, quite a cliffhanger you know <laughs> okay anyways uh, 
okay so that was it that was this episode so okay one thing another thing i should mention here i did not notice that in the previous episode but the new ending there's one thing i noticed you know in the end that is uh xiaome just a sec uh where is it at the ending of the ending song xiaome is sitting you know and on a throne a weird throne and like you know there is a logo on the throne of a of a flower you know a five petaled flower and i also noticed that logo is also in her hair a hair ornament kind of similar looking to that then in the next scene of the ending we see a person just a sec where is it there you go uh, we see a person with a b cube and kind of the same logo like you know red colored also has five petals and th there's a little stalk in the end like you know of the flower but still it's really similar to that i don't know if that has some kind of a relationship with each other like you know that b cube and xiaome sitting on that uh, like you know throne with that same logo kind of i don't know if there is some kind of relation with those two but who knows like that's just something that i noticed you know uh, it might not be related at all but i don't know like the you know the color scheme the color of the logo red colored and the logo design of a flower is kind of similar it's just something that i noticed like if it is some kind of spoiler no need to like you know say in the comment section like you know i like to like see myself whatever happens in the future all right so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to eden zero episode number 14 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day